Holstein Aviation is pleased to present our latest arrival, a 2018 Citation Latitude. This outstanding aircraft, first introduced in 2015, is the next generation of aircraft from Textron Aviation and is the first flat floor Cessna offered with an incredible cabin featuring the largest cross section of any Citation ever built. The Citation Latitude was built to redefine the industry's mid-size category. It merges comfort, aesthetics, payload, and range to create a pleasurable, productive, and class-leading environment. Passengers will enjoy this beautifully appointed, spacious, and comfortable stand-up cabin, which is nearly 22 feet long, 6 feet high, and 6.4 feet wide. There is seating for up to nine passengers in fully berthing and 180 degree articulating seats. The club area has excellent spacing with 30 inches between the seats. The aft externally serviced lavatory is fully enclosed and is 60% larger than its closest competitor. It features a vanity and a belted side facing seat adjacent to the toilet. In addition, a removable coat rod can be placed above the side-facing lav seat. The fiber optic wireless clarity cabin management system controls the environment, entertainment features, and lighting. Each seat has its own lighting switches, USB port, and a small recess that is ideal for a smartphone, wallet, or book. Clarity can be controlled using a mobile device app or by a master control panel located on the forward refreshment center. Audio content on mobile devices can be played on the Clarity System's excellent speaker system. Dual zone temperature control guarantees passenger comfort. Internal storage is available in a forward and aft closet, along with a spacious forward refreshment center. A comfortable cabin altitude of 5,950 feet is maintained while cruising at the aircraft's max 45,000 foot certified ceiling by a fully automated digital pressurization system. The Latitude is the first citation to implement a HEPA filter, which provides continuous cabin air filtration. Pilots will enjoy the spacious cockpit and the state-of-the-art Garmin G5000 next-gen capable avionics with three 14-inch high-resolution LCD displays and four full-color touchscreen control panels. This modern flight deck features auto throttles, which reduces the crew workload. This system is fully integrated with the autopilot and FMS and may be selected prior to initiating the takeoff roll and remain engaged throughout the flight, approach, flare, and touchdown. The Latitude is equipped with the Linksys onboard diagnostic system, providing real-time maintenance reporting. Linksys employs the central diagnostics maintenance system, which functions as a fault isolation system that monitors the aircraft 100% of the time. In the unlikely event of an onboard issue, actionable answers are provided in real time, resulting in faster turnaround to get the aircraft back in the air. The system reports issues upon landing with a Wi-Fi connection and in flight via satellite for aircraft equipped with GSR-56. A significant departure from traditional Citation designs is that the Latitude sits high on the ramp and has a large proper air stair door with step lighting and a leather wrapped handrail. The door extends by gravity and retracts electronically for ease of operation. The door frame is fitted with a single passive compression seal, which improves dispatch reliability by eliminating the inflatable seal. The Latitude's clean wing design affords exceptional performance for all flight regimes. The wing sweep is 12.7 degrees for a typical cruise of 400 to 420 knots on longer missions and over 450 knots at high-speed cruise. Like the Sovereign Plus, the wing retains the distinctive swooplets, Cessna's curved version of winglets. The swooplets provide the best range for this wing. Landing distance, which is less than 2,500 feet, is excellent due to six large fowler flaps, which cover nearly 70% of the trailing edge. 
Each wing has five multi-function spoiler panels, which function as speed brakes in flight, a ground lift dump system, and serve to augment aileron roll control. The takeoff field length requirement is very impressive, which is less than 3,600 feet at sea level. And the climb performance is equally impressive at 26 minutes to flight level 430 from sea level. The range is 2,700 nautical miles at high-speed cruise with an NBAA IFR reserve. The ferry range is 2,850 nautical miles. A typical trip from L.A. to New York can be accomplished in five hours, and owners will be very pleased by the operating efficiency of the Latitude, with an average direct operating cost of $4.48 per nautical mile. All landing gear have dual wheels. The main gear uses a long-travel trailing link design for smooth landings and taxi. The gear is electrically controlled and hydraulically actuated. A conventional brake system with anti-skid uses multi-carbon discs that are rated for more than 1,000 landings. The main wheel tires have a design life of 300 or more landings. All primary flight controls are operated through cables and mechanical linkages, reducing complexity and increasing dispatch reliability. The newly designed fuselage is an all-metal structure with a composite radome and fairings. The large multi-layer glass windscreens have hydrophobic coatings that eliminate the need for windscreen wipers and the noisy bleed air rain removal system used on previous citations. Nose wheel steering is accomplished by a hydraulically powered rack and pinion steering system, which allows up to 81 degrees of travel on either side for excellent ground maneuvering. The single point pressure refueling is normally used to refuel the aircraft. The maximum fuel capacity using the single point system is 10,720 pounds. Overwing refueling ports must be used to top off the aircraft to its maximum 11,394 pound fuel capacity. The Latitude gets its exceptional performance from a pair of highly efficient Pratt & Whitney PW306D1 6,000 hour TBO engines, each packing 5,907 pounds of thrust with reversers. Dual channel full authority digital electronic controls provide automation and efficiency in engine management. A Honeywell Auxiliary Power RE100 is installed in the tail cone to provide supplemental environmental air and electrical power on the ground and in flight. It is certified for startup to 20,000 feet and use up to 30,000 feet. Pilots will appreciate the external aft baggage compartments, air stair door, which makes it easy to get into the far corners of the deep baggage bay. This area can hold up to 1,000 pounds of cargo in 100 cubic feet of heated space. The Citation Latitude truly represents remarkable product development coupled with proven Citation systems. It retains many of the Sovereign Plus systems and, as such, the type rating is applicable to both aircraft. The Latitude's spacious cabin, class-leading performance, and operating efficiency sets this innovative aircraft out in front of the competition. Holstein Aviation looks forward to providing further detail on this exceptional aircraft. For some valuable resources, I would encourage you to check out our website at holsteinaviation.com. Resources include market briefings on nearly 100 different models of turbine business aircraft. These market briefings are updated every month and are downloadable for your convenience. This will allow you to keep a pulse on the market on various different aircraft types. Additionally, we have helpful and informative video reviews and information on a variety of aviation topics that are frequently added and updated.